Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, That Model Railway Guy, and welcome to another video from my layout, Pickwick Yard. Uh, today's video is all about the Ingle Nook shunting puzzle, and if you've never heard of that before, well, essentially it's just a fun game you can play with your layout. Uh, the basic premise is fairly simple, all you need is seven or eight wagons on your layout. Uh, most people do this with eight wagons, I'm doing it with seven today just to make it a little bit easier while I'm filming. Uh, but then you need to shunt those wagons into a five wagon train which is decided at random. Now, the way I decide them at random, is with these little cards. Uh, I have several cards here and each one has the picture of a wagon on them and that is one of the wagons that is already on the layout. And so what we do is we shuffle these up and then you just lay five of those cards out in a row and that's the order that you have to shunt your wagons into to make up a train. Sounds fairly simple, doesn't it? Well, there's a few other rules as well. Uh, those are mainly to do with the layout itself and the length of the sidings, or rather how many wagons you can have in each siding. Now, some people do build layouts specifically that conform to the rules of the Ingle Nook shunting puzzle, uh, and that's great, you can do that, or you can also do as I'm doing today, which is using your own layout and just kind of repurposing the siding. So you need three sidings for this. Uh, I've only got two, we've got these two here, we're kind of just ignoring this one at the front here for today. Um, but yeah, we've got these two, and then I'm also going to use this line that goes off up under the bridge. Uh, we're going to use that as another siding as well. Uh, so the rules for the sidings are you can have, uh, you need to have two sidings that are allowed to have three wagons in each, and then one siding that is allowed to have five wagons in it. Uh, and then your head shunt also is allowed to have a maximum of a loco and then also three wagons. So I don't actually have three sidings. I've got these two here. We're kind of just going to ignore this one for the moment because it doesn't really work with the Ingle Nook shunting puzzle. But then we're also going to use this one up here. This is the little line that that runs up under the bridge and we'll use that as another short siding today. So that will be one of the sidings that has three wagons in it. The middle one is the longest siding so that will be able to have five wagons in it and then the very front siding will be able to have three wagons in it again. And so yeah that is essentially the basics of the Ingle Nook shunting puzzle. I realise I've kind of flown through the rules quite quickly there uh, but I figure what we do is we just grab our cards uh, I'll just shuffle these up and we'll lay them down and we'll kind of just figure it out as we go along and hopefully by the end of this video once you've seen a bit of a demonstration you'll have a bit more of an idea of how you could implement this on your own layout. So here we go, let's put the cards down. So starting off with the fish finger wagon, then going to the Scarwood wagon, the Norstand wagon next, and then we have the Red Arnold Sands wagon and finishing up with the uh, another fish wagon, the Fine Fish Blue Wagon. So this is the order that we need to shunt our wagons into to make up our train. Uh, and usually what I like to do is I like to start from the back and then work my way forwards. Uh, you don't have to do it this way, but that's just what I personally found tends to be easier. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. The loco I'm going to use is the Hatton's P-Class, and if you saw my review of this last week, uh, you'll know that this is not only a great looking loco, but it's also a really good shunter as well. Very controllable at slow speed, so that's why I'm using it today. So I'm going to start off just by getting rid of the Conflat wagon and the Mineral wagon here. By complete coincidence, these are the two wagons that we don't need in our train, and they were right at the front of this siding. So uh, yeah, we can just move them out of the way into this siding up here. So one of the really nice things about the Ingle Nook shunting puzzle as well is that it kind of gives you a purpose to shunt wagons. You don't sort of feel too contrived just moving things around for the sake of moving around. It gives you a little bit of a purpose, especially when it comes to operating your layout. So yeah, you can kind of imagine that this is a train that has to be put together in a specific order so that it can drop things off uh, later on its journey. So. So now that I've disconnected the loco, I'll just run back into that siding and I'm gonna get the fine fish wagon because that's the last wagon of the train. And I think that's the next one in this siding. So I'm just gonna take the fine fish wagon here and I only want this at the moment because I need this to be at the back of the train. I actually need this and the Arnold Sands wagon to be the other way around, so I'll just put this in the siding with those other wagons that we just moved.
So what I'll do is I'll put the fine fish wagon in this siding with those two other wagons that we just moved. And this is now the limit of wagons I can have in this siding. So remember, I'm only allowed to have three wagons in this siding at any one time. What I'll do now though is I'm actually going to go back to the other siding and we'll pick up the north stand wagon because that is the, although that's the middle wagon that I need, I can then take that to connect to the Arnold Sands wagon and then that makes up the middle two wagons of our train and then we can go and pick up the fine fish wagon after this and add that onto the back. So with the points changed, we'll go pick up that red wagon. So yeah, we'll couple up to the red wagon here. Nice, slow, smooth coupling. Well, I don't think it's actually connected. Oh wait, no, yeah, it has now, okay. So we'll take these two wagons now to go and collect the fine fish wagon. Now obviously at this point I have more than the allocated three wagons in this upper siding here but because I'm not leaving them there they are actually going across the point so I wouldn't be able to get past them anyway but you can pick up individual wagons just as long as you don't leave them there. And then not forgetting as well that I'm allowed three wagons and my loco in the head shunt so I was allowed to do that but that is the maximum that I can fit in the head shunt there. So I'll just bring them back into this siding now. Remember this siding is allowed to have five wagons in at maximum. And now that the engine is uncoupled, I can just leave those wagons there and build up the rest of my train in that siding. So all we need to do now is pick up the Scarwood wagon and the Bird's Eye wagon. Uh, annoyingly though, these need to be the opposite way around, so I'll just have to take them one at a time. So we'll take the Scarwood wagon first, we'll join that onto the front of our train, and then we'll come back and get the Bird's Eye wagon in a minute. So with the points changed, we'll just bring this wagon into the siding. And then that is another wagon added to the front of our train. Now all we have to do is go back and pick up that fish finger wagon and then the train is complete. So we'll just couple up to the bird's eye wagon now. And then we can take this and add it to the rest of our wagons.
So actually, this has been quite a simple demonstration of the Ingle Nook shunting puzzle. Uh, it wasn't too complicated. Uh, thankfully, those two wagons that you can see in the upper siding there, we didn't have to use much. We just got those out of the way pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, this has sort of been a really simple demonstration of how the Ingle Nook shunting puzzle works. So with the bird's eye wagon now coupled up to the rest of the wagons, that is our train complete. And as you can see here, we've got everything in the correct order and it lines up with the cards that I put in front of the layout as well. And so with that, the train can now be dispatched and heads off on its way. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, do let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you like the Ingle Nook shunting puzzle and if you think you'll use it on your own layout. Uh, in the meantime, though, if you haven't already, then please do subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications when new videos are released. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.